Yes, and welcome everybody to another uh, quick demonstration. So, in, in, in this video, we'll just uh, have a quick look about creating a string or hair or strips and apply it to an animated car or movable car, as you can see, and, and uh, run it through the simulation. As you can see, some uh, uh, material and it will be rendered in Redshift in Houdini. Of course, the, the, the car itself is being animated and imported from 3ds Max. So let's go and have a look. Wingfox is an online learning platform with excellent tutorial and it's a leading platform for artists to keep on growing and sharing and contacting and inspiring. It contains CG, VFX, game art and graphic design and animation and plenty of marvelous tutorial a lot of excellent tutorials and houdini has its own share with a lot of excellent tutorial and today i will tell you about comprehensive guide for filmmaking with houdini and unreal engine 5. this is a very excellent tutorial that combined the new unreal engine 5 and houdini and how we can export from houdini to unreal engine 5. this course they will talk about how set up to set up the Unreal project and the folder structure. We'll talk about the RBD uh, destruction and how to export it as, as FBX to Unreal Engine. Talking about the material, lighting, and the biro setup as a flipbook and send it uh, to Unreal Engine. Also, they will talk about the atmosphere, how to set up the lighting there. Also, some procedural modeling for the log development and uh, how to import all of the asset and material to the to unreal engine and a lot many many more and it's very detailed and comprehensive and it's done by godo bonzani a senior vfx technical artist and it is very comprehensive guide for filmmaking for especially unreal engine 5 and houdini you can find the link down below in the description and you will see the coupon for the discount and now it's with 59 dollar and with a discount it will go down even 15 percent off so hop in there and have a look so we want to import the car model so as a startup let's go to the first frame and Let's give it a second. And here it is. So uh, the, the model is being imported as Olympic animated scene. And here I unpack it. The create primitive for and back uh, delay. So we have it as animation. After that, I transform it properly to its uh, logical size. And after that, I run through the connectivity. So we have the parts. Here is the parts of the car. After that, already I unpack it, so no need this for this one. I split it because I'm interested in the car body itself. So this is the car body where I want to plant my strips. <coughs> so I added a planner batch to make it very thin, 0 0.025 by 2 match size to put it exactly on the origin and make the pivot at the bottom and then I need a group only for the uh, root points at the, at, at the minimum y-axis here because I don't want the strips when I plant it on the car to touch or intersect with the body so I uh, peek it a little bit out with this node, you see, very tiny, this one and this one, so it will have some distance, then I added a remesh, because uh, if, if you look here, we're talking about uh, 
60,000 points and here about 6,000 points otherwise the same would be very 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 heavy so this is where the plants will be added by using a copy to point so this is the copy to point so now all of this is just to prepare it for the VLOM setup. So let's go back here. Edge fracture is not use. Let's get rid of it. And let's go here. I give it a distinctive color. <coughs> and here, let's stop the simulation. What I did, I added a time shift for the car because I want to blend the strips and make it fall before the animation start so I give it time shift at the first frame so the car is static and uh, I pull reduce it so now it's being reduced to 5000 points and then I was thinking between the vellum cloth and the vellum string because I can run it as a vellum cloth but it will be very very expensive that's why I went with the vellum string so in the string I choose the type string and density and uh, here I make the stretch somehow very uh, stiff and the bending I make it very very loose so that the strips can fall down smoothly so as you can see it's all hanging in the air so what I want next is to attach it to the car body so what we use, we use vellum attached to geometry. So for this one, we use attached to geometry and we use the group bin. And this group is this one here. It's just the bottom of each one that when uh, we created that group. And where we attaching it to the card geometry that we connected here. So it's a view as you can see. see only the bottom that group that we selected is being attached. Look at that the spheres. Like three. Okay? All the body is being connected to it. Now Now we will talk about the vellum trap. The point of this node is to make a simulation. So uh, the vellum shape, uh, the vellum cloth or uh, object will take its shape and being affected by physics and gravity and forces. Then we choose a frame that we will run the vellum simulation on it. So let's choose it. So as you can notice, and uh, as you can notice here, you can reset the simulation. You can choose the frame that you are happy with to start the simulation with. And this thing best is to always save it. Save it to disk, then load it from the geometry. Okay, so let's go to the first frame. But first I will uh, decrease the number of strips. So I'll just go here and then the remesh division size and make it bigger okay something like that 
This is the amount. Even we make it bigger, 0.5. You can have less. Or we can also, because I choose the, the, the front body. This one. I will go here. Activate the film cloth. And go to the drab. So here I will just uncheck it. And reactivate the simulation. I'll just reset the simulation. So I'll just uh, go here and see we didn't choose the frame and I increased the gravity so it can fall down quickly and we just run it. And as you can see, we'll just move. And let's say we are happy with frame, let's say frame 80. So I go here and I choose frame 80, freeze on this frame, so as you can see it will freeze on this frame and if it's a large simulation better to save it to a disk, okay? And after that we run our simulation, I just remove the self collision because it will take ages to finish and it will not be even noticeable, increase the memory just for uh, visualization. And then I save it here. So it's being simulated. Now on the other hand, let's go to the first frame. I have the other part. So here we have that body. And what I did with this body, I run it through wire, wire frame, so I have this frame, because I want uh, uh, to remove that body and just yeah, like a uh, metal frame here. This one I export it to another uh, folder, and here for the material, for the shift material and especially for the car I just separated uh, the groups as you can see this is for the light rear light the glass and the rest of the material then I applied red shift material for each and then combine it back again so for the red shift material like for the body just a specific color as a plastic tires also plastic with the black color chrome front light special light and I make uh, emission weight 100 and this is the light same thing for the rear but this one more reddish and the glass I just use the standard glass material and uh, the rest is just another paper material with dark color and the fiber I just use RS car paint material with some fancy color then I imported this uh, low poly city this one and this is the imported material which I change it using the shader converter I selected the material and I choose redshift and I said convert so automatically it uh, created the network for me straightforward and I have a couple of cameras movement and in the out and the red shift and uh, the top network let's go here this is the simulation and this is the sequence for the rendering and after waiting for all I asked at the FFMBG that created the video and this is the output
as you can see so it's moving light emitting this is the skin this is the glass this is the camera movement with some uh, motion blur and some flare as you can see this is the flare this is the glass reflection and the light emission and that's it the next uh, one is this one that I'm running through also below stay tuned and thank you for watching